Mr. Scott Garrison, one of the top agents in Orlando and Central Florida. And we're here with my building inspector, Mike Heyman, with Say hi. Liberty Property Inspections. Perfect. And he is one of my preferred building inspectors. I do use several of them, but I've been using Mike. And it occurred to me, we were talking, that I've probably been out on 100 building inspections with Mike which means that Mike has seen me standing there with probably a hundred clients. Now, if you go on Zillow, you can read my reviews, you go on Yelp, Google+, Realtor.com, Homes.com, all the reviews are posted, um, and there's actually even video reviews here on YouTube, but one of the things that occurred to me is you don't ever really get a chance to see like a real person who's seen me who we've actually never done business together as far as he's never bought a house through me, but, but you've seen me with my clients. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, this is it's kind of a loaded question, but what have you noticed about how I interact with my clients, how my clients are satisfied with my service, what makes me uh, different, a reason to use me from your end when we're just standing out there on the building inspection? And, you know, when we were talking, I, uh, I was thinking, what do I like best about Scott? And, and here's what I like best about working with Scott Garrison. He's very straightforward with the clients and with us. He makes sure that everyone is included in the loop of what's going on. So there's no question of how are we getting in? Do we have the address for the client? Do we have the phone number for the client? Is the name spelled correctly? Small things that most people take for granted. I've seen consistently where you've got your I's dotted and your T's crossed. And if something hasn't come back that requires a response back in a timely manner, you're asking you questions as to why. Mm -hmm. And I like that because I get very busy. I've got four inspectors counting myself and uh, my admin in the office. So I have a lot that goes on. And sometimes I need that extra reminder. And Scott's great about that. Also, Scott's great about if the client can't be there, he takes great care in walking around with me or one of my inspectors, whoever's there, and going over what we found first. And then we will do, just like you're watching now, a YouTube type video where we're explaining it to the client and Scott's asking the questions that the client who can't be there has already discussed with him and he knows you, he knows you as a client, what you're looking for, what questions would you be most concerned with. And he takes that and takes it and puts it into a personal package where it's like you were there at the inspection yes. we walked through I asked questions I remember how nervous you were the first couple yeah. of times you're like you're gonna what but we follow them around we do the walkthrough because I have a lot of buyers out of state I've helped people buy homes who've never actually seen the home they're from Canada or something and so we go I take a video of the home sometimes a 20-30 yeah. minute video of us walking through me asking question after question I post it to YouTube just in a private video in that way the client watches it and he says it's just like he's being there yeah. and if you do look some reviews on Zillow you'll see several investors and out-of-town buyers to say I didn't even need to be at the inspection it was just like I was there only it took me less time and I think we did a couple <clears throat> of FaceTime live ones too mm -hmm. where the client was actually there mm -hmm. but the biggest thing I like is the professionalism that you bring and I have always seen you in a nice not too dressed up so you're not too unapproachable but approachable professional realtor shirt you've got your name tag identifies who you are and what you're doing I have a lot of realtors sometimes they'll show up um, and I've had a couple show up in flip-flops and things like that and the clients have actually mentioned that it, everybody's different how they do things mm -hmm. but what I do like is your professionalism the attention to detail and the fact that you make sure that we are on the same page as you and your client and it makes our job so much smoother and my job is to help you the client have a smooth transition going through the home inspection portion which then translates to a smooth ride for you, hopefully, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, keeps everything going. On When we're on building inspections, it's not the reason why we hire you. I mean, unfortunately, sometimes we find like some big repairs. We'll find some really like, oh, a couple thousand bucks here. It's a whole list of things that could happen. And that could be very stressful for someone who just bought a house just paid you money mm -hmm. to basically tell them what's wrong. Um, and what do you? Is there anything that you've seen how I interact with clients or how we are with the clients when they see those big things that they feel they can be like really stressful all of a sudden it's got polybutylene piping or thousands of dollars of termite damage in the attic or something? Yeah, and a lot of that comes back to your experience in being in what your industry and doing what you do for as long as you have. Polybutylene piping, for example, is a pipe that insurance companies are not particularly happy with. They don't use it anymore, and uh, over time people repipe, you know, and, and things move on. But 
you're really good at grabbing the client, especially if they are um, taken back by mm-hmm. something like that. Because they've heard they've it from a friend who's heard it from yeah. a friend about how bad things are. And, and you are able to take them and redirect them and say, okay, that makes sense. Bite-sized chunks. The advantage of that is that I have rental property. So I've had all these things happen, not only to my house, but to rental property. And I've flipped houses, too, where you get a house that's in horrible shape to fix it up so most of the things that you mentioned while I haven't actually done it myself mm-hmm. I've dealt with I know it's not a big deal I usually know someone that you can call to fix it and it seems to make a big difference in the client's uh, satisfaction with yeah. you and for me and their peace of mind they're like ah we have termites two thousand dollars we'll get the seller to pay it and then we'll just move in and then they're all kind of happy about it remember right so I do the triaging and you get to do the heavy lift <laughs> usually it's the other way around when you're up in the yeah, attic yeah. it's a, 150 degrees. Yeah, that summer's coming. All right, great. Thanks, Mike. You're welcome.